buying a home in Las Vegas. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm gonna to be talking about buying a home in Las Vegas. I would say about 90% of my clients are from out of state. I am your local relocation specialist. Las Vegas is an attractive place to buy a home, but our inventory is very tight. So if you find your dream home, be ready to make an offer ASAP. Now, one of the things that I always stress when you are thinking about relocating here and wanting to buy is we need one of two things from you. We need a pre-approval letter from a lender that is licensed in Nevada, or we need proof of funds if you are paying cash. Because if you don't know if you really can afford buying a home here in Las Vegas, you're just wasting everyone's time by looking in an area that may that you may not even be able to afford. So the key is, if you're thinking about relocating here, get with a local real estate agent that knows the area, that may have some lenders that they can refer you to, but you need to be pre-approved and ready to go because why come look at houses when they're not gonna even be available by the time you're ready to locate relocate here? <laughs> and if you, are just thinking about Vegas and really are not sure if it's for you or not, and you wanna visit Vegas, the best thing to do is maybe just check out all the different communities. I get a lot of out-of-state buyers wanting to relocate here to the Las Vegas Valley. So I thought this video would be helpful for everyone that wants to buy a home here in Las Vegas. So what kind of housing can you expect here in Las Vegas? Well, we do live in the desert, so most of the homes are framed with stucco. The roof is tile. Um, pretty much all the homes look the same. Everything looks the same. <laughs> and a lot of the homes are dictated by HOAs where you cannot paint the home a color that you would like, especially if you wanna do like a farmhouse color, white with black trim. Everything's like desert color. A lot of the homes are cookie cutter. Um, You'll see a sea of houses that look the same, but I know a lot of communities like Sky Canyon and Summerlin, they try to prevent the homes from looking the same by doing different elevations and stonework and colors. However, all the colors are still desert colors, so to me, they still end up looking the same. And then our lot sizes, because we live in a city, the lot sizes are kind of small. They're typically around four to 6,000 square feet. They're not big. We don't have huge lots here where you have acres of lots and and huge homes on lots just because we we're a growing city and and the way we are being developed is that we don't do such lots unless you buy a custom home on a custom lot which will cost you money so don't expect buying a home with a huge lot here we live in the desert most of the homes have desert landscaping they have trees palm trees maybe some fake grass because if you do have grass in your yard your water bill is going to be super high we don't need, because we live in the desert, we don't need to waste any water. But the type of homes, we have single family homes, we have two story homes, single story homes, single stories with two car garage, three car garage, two stories with two or three car garages. Um, we also have condos, fourplexes, duplexes, townhomes. I mean, we have the whole gamut of home styles. Most of the homes are Spanish, can, Spanish style with the Spanish tile roof. Even though Las Vegas can get extremely hot during the summertime, a lot of people still find the Las Vegas weather very attractive because one, we have no humidity, we don't have severe storms, we don't have tornadoes, we don't have hurricanes. So our weather is actually quite mild, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's why people like living here. You know, minus the three months out of the year, the other rest of the year is pretty decent. How far will your buck go here? Well, as of today, which is March 15th, our medium sales price right now is at 355,000, 
which is considerably cheaper than if you were living on the East Coast or West Coast. Then, as you gotta consider, we have no state income taxes, and Nevada's property tax rate is among the lowest in the US. Typically, the average is at 0.7%, but if you are gonna buy new home construction, the property tax is calculated 1% of the total purchase price. So if you're buying an $800,000 home, your property tax is gonna be $8,000. Still, 1% is not bad compared to what other states have. You know, even if you go to Texas, I understand that their property taxes are considerably higher than ours, even though they have no state income tax. And the national average is 1.08. So 0.7 versus 1.08 is pretty good for property tax. And if you're just researching Vegas and, oh yeah, that sounds like a great place to live, then I highly suggest you'd start doing your own research. Investigate all the different master plan communities that Las Vegas has to offer. Now, I've done numerous videos on different master plan communities here in the Valley. Um, I'm an expert in the Summerlin area, but I also do focus on Providence, Sky Canyon, the lakes, Desert Shores, Piccoli Ranch, you know, all of the master plan communities on the west and northwest side of the valley. However, we have a ton of our other master plan communities here in the valley. There's Rhodes Ranch, there's Southern Highlands, um, there's Stallion Mountain, there's North Las Vegas has Aliante, Valley Vista, and Henderson has a bunch of master plan communities. You have Green Valley area, you also have Seven Hills, Anthem, Anthem Country Club, McDonald Ranch, McDonald Highlands, to name a few. So do your research. What part of the valley do you wanna live in? A lot of people compare Henderson to Summerlin, and I've done a video on it. Um, but again, on my video, I said technically you can't compare the two because Henderson is actually a city in Nevada, while Summerlin is the largest master plan community in Las Vegas. If you wanna compare Henderson, you'd wanna compare Seven Hills and Anthem to Summerlin or Inspirata is another master plan community, Cadence, and Lake Las Vegas, all in the Henderson area. So do your groundwork, investigate, go to crimemaps.com, see where the high crimes are, go to greatschools.com to see where the better schools are located. Once you've kind of narrowed down where you want to be in the Las Vegas Valley, then I suggest um, reaching out to a real estate agent because it's gonna be hard from one, going from one end of the valley to the other, looking at all these houses. You know, if you're unsure, I suggest making a visit to Vegas, get the lay of the land before you even reach out to anybody, just to see what suits you, what's the vibe in that community. Because if you're uncertain, then, and you don't know if you wanna to move to Vegas, you're just wasting everyone's time. So. My, my suggestion is, is just to come down here, spend a few days to check out all the different master plan communities to see what suits you best. And then after that, find a real estate agent that can help you. Once you decide that you do wanna to relocate to Vegas, there's a couple decisions you need to make. One, are you gonna buy or rent? And if you're gonna rent, think about renting, it's expensive, and very limited in rentals here in the Valley. Two, once you figure out where you're going to live, you're going to need to get pre-approved by a lender. Or if you're paying cash, then we need a proof of, proof of funds. But if you are going to go the lender route, you need to get qualified with a licensed Nevada lender. You know, some factors to consider if you're relocating here when picking a community is how close is it going to be to friends if you have any here? What is it, your commute to work going to be like? And commute to amenities. So those are some factors to consider when you choose your neighborhood that you want to live in. Another thing to consider is buying a home sight unseen. I would say I have a handful of clients that never actually stepped into the house until their very first time after they have bought it. I do a lot of virtual tours. I do FaceTime with my clients. So the way the market's going right now, especially if we find a home that checks off all your boxes and it's a great home in your price range and you really want it, sometimes you may have to buy a sight unseen. You'll have to rely on me to go to that home, do a FaceTime tour, give you my honest opinion of the home, and I'm very honest. If you don't know me, I'm an honest person. 
I will tell you the vibe of that home and the neighborhood and I will say yay or nay. And if it's a great home and you want to buy it, then I suggest go ahead, make the offer because then what you could do is during the due diligence period, which is typically 12 days, you can fly out here and make sure it's actually the home for you. Just a suggestion. I've done this a lot. A lot of my clients have done this. <laughs> That's another option is that we can go do video tour just because of how fast homes are selling here. It's a, it's a great option for me to do. I've done it numerous times where I just went, did a FaceTime tour with my clients. They liked it. We made an offer, we won that offer, and then they came down the next couple of days during the due diligence period to ensure that that's what they wanted. And I would say nine times out of 10 that they were happy. Buying a home right now in Las Vegas is not easy. And if you're thinking about relocating, you need an agent that's expert in the area that has done numerous deals on working with people that have relocated to Las Vegas. I am your local expert. I am your local Summerlin expert. I am your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Just kidding. <laughs> but you know, buying a home is different. The Las Vegas houses are totally different from back east. Um, they're way different. It's a whole different vibe here. But if you do some groundwork ahead of time and educate yourself, then the transition will be much smoother. If you're thinking about buying here in the Las Vegas Valley, you know who to call, right? Me, 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you just recently moved to Las Vegas and bought a house sight unseen. <laughs> How was that for you? As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend and smash that subscribe button because I talk a lot about Las Vegas, Las Vegas neighborhoods, and of course, Las Vegas real estate. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.